create a discussion forum. Discussion forums, as we've discussed in other videos, are an overarching area where different topics can come underneath. And so inside of a forum, you'll have specific threads. So this is an umbrella topic, really. In order to create a discussion forum, you'll need to be in the discussion board area. So you can do this by either linking from uh, the course navigation menu, or you can come down under your course tools and come down and find discussions under your course tools. So either way, if you go through discussion board through your course tools, you'll see that you have to click on uh, your specific course because there could be groups or something like that inside of here as well. But either way, once you click on that, you're going to wind up being in the same place in your discussion board. So the first step to create a forum is to, in the upper left hand corner, click on create forum. From here, you'll give it a forum name and a brief description. So from here, what we want to do is we want to look at what are our different, different types of options, okay? So availability, is this available? So is it hidden or not hidden from students? If you want it to be available to them, make sure it says yes. If you want to hide it, this is where you select no. If you don't want this to be available, if you want this to uh, be invisible until a given time, you could select the display after date. And if you want this to disappear, not simply be um, unavailable, but disappear um, after a certain time, you can select the display until. And that will be our sandwich of time that students would be able to see this specific forum. So next, if we continue down, we can look at the types of settings that forums have. And this includes viewing threads and replies. So should it be a standard view, or should participants create a thread in order to view other threads in this forum. So this is a very important distinction. I'm going to slow down here for a moment. You can select right here, if you say participants must create a thread, this means that when a student goes to the forum, they can't see any other thread until they've posted their own. So if we had something like uh, chapter questions or something from a textbook, we said, okay, um, I want you to answer these questions. This might be a use case for uh, this option where we can say, okay, you can't see anyone else's responses until you've made your own. And that can stop some duplication in there. But if we're just looking for the standard view where everyone can see everything, make sure you select the standard view. Next, is this going to be gradable? So if it's not going to be gradable, you can leave it as the default of no grading in forum. If you're going to grade the entire forum, you'll want to select the next option of grading for uh, discussion forum. And this means you'll be grading all of the threads in there in one one big post, okay, or in, in one, one big area. So they, it doesn't matter if they do 30 threads or two threads, you'll be grading them all from the forum itself. If you want to grade specific threads inside of there, and if you have um, specific questions about what is the difference between a thread and a forum, make sure you check out the, the video discussing the difference between threads and forums. Um, here you could grade the individual thread, so you've created an umbrella topic, but if you want to grade each individual thread, this is where you need to select that. And it's important to select that up front because it really sets up um, the structure for how this forum is going to progress. So if we see below that the alignments align with if it's going to be based on the threads or if it's going to be based on uh, the forum itself. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and say grade the forum, and let's look at due date. So here we can have a due date. We can put this in and this will then appear in the calendar and everything like that. So we're going to make this due. We can also decide how often do we want to be alerted about this after every post, after every five posts. You know, what is our interval inside of here of how often do we want to be uh, alerted in order to grade it. So let's say we've said that um, a student needs to be, needs to make five posts before we'll grade it. Well then here we could set and we could say okay five posts, then it's going to show up in the grade center as needs grading. Until then, it won't even, it won't show up there as needs grading. You can also attach a rubric if you need to. And as we move down, this is where we can uh, hit some other options. Subscriptions are an interesting feature. What you can do is you can either say, you know, uh, no, nobody's allowed to have subscriptions, or you can allow each member to subscribe um, to specific threads, or you can allow members to subscribe to an entire forum and either include a link to the post or include the entire post, the body of that post in the email. So what a subscription does is this says, okay, I, I want to uh, pay attention to this thread or this forum and when new 
items are added, it actually gets emailed to the student if they subscribe. So if you allow subscriptions and a student subscribes to a specific post, uh, to a forum, or to a thread, they will actually be emailed notifying them that new information has been in, uh, put inside of there. And, it, and depending on which selection you put here, either a link back to the discussion or the, the content of the discussion actually comes right inside of there. Next, we can look at um, are we going to allow uh, for creating and editing. So in this case, we've already made some selections above that have grayed um, items out down here. But you can allow anonymous posts. You can allow the author to delete their own posts. Um, you can allow you know, uh, either their um, posts that have no replies or all posts, even if it does have uh, responses on it. Um, next, you can allow them to um, edit their own. So you can select that and say, okay, yes, you've made a, a post, but you can go ahead and modify it um, after uh, even others have read it. You can allow uh, members to create new threads, file attachments. This one's pretty important. If you want someone to attach a file, it needs to be selected. You can allow users to reply with quotes so they can quote a specific part of a, uh, of a previous discussion and have that be embedded in there. And now, also, you can force moderation of posts, which means that you're going to have to look at it and say, okay, this one is okay to be posted before anyone else can actually see this. So if you uh, want to moderate your posts, make sure that you select that here. Also, you can allow post tagging, and you can allow members to rate posts. Post tagging allows um, uh, members to create specific tags that go along with each post, so you're building a folksonomy. And then here you can allow uh, members to rate posts, you know, one through five. Um, so be careful how you want to use this, but it's certainly some great features involved. And when you're done, you go ahead and click Submit. So right here we can see that uh, the example forum has been created. And we've got the des description right here. And when we move inside of this forum, we'll see that there are no threads yet created inside of this, inside of this forum. That will be our next video.